Hello, my name is Johannes Lizoglu, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple uh, maths game by using random numbers. To start with, I would like you to create a new project by going to File, New Project, and select C Project. So, File, New, Project. Make sure the C Sharp Project is selected, make sure the Windows Form App is selected, and name your app appropriately. Once you've done this, I would like you to add one, two, three, four, five labels from the tools uh, from the toolbox. Add five labels onto your actual form, and by selecting each label individually, go to the properties panel. So, for example, my first label here, I've put for the text section. I just put some dashes. For the name, I called it LBL message, so LBL message. I put another label here. The name for this label is set to LBL first number, and the value is set to zero, so the text section I put here zero. The next label, I called it LBL plus, the next label, and obviously I put the plus icon on the text section. The next label, I call the LBL second number, and I've set the text value to zero. And finally, last label I've put, I've set the text value to zero, and I call it, and I name this label as LBL total number. Then. I've added a text box. Now the text box, I just left the default name. Actually, let's change that to txt uh, answer. And then I've got a button here, so I'll call my button btn submit. And for the text, I've just typed submit. Okay, let's put name our form appropriately. So for the text, I'm going to call it my maths simple game. Okay, let's get started. First thing I need to do, I need to create some variables. So what I need to do is double click on the form. So when the form loads, I want to do a couple things. The first thing I need to do is create two number, two random numbers. One random number to play, to play, to display there, to be displayed here, and another random number to be displayed here. So how do I do this? I'm going to do this by typing random r equals new random. Open brackets, close brackets, semicolon to end my statement. I'm going to also to type random. P. Ah, you put you put any any letters you like. So random p, new random, open close brackets to end this your statement. Now I've created my random numbers now. Then next thing I need to do is create some variables. So I'm going to create a variable integer data type. It's going to be the max r is equals to oops equals to ten semicolon to end my statement. Also, I'm going to create another variable, max uh, p is equals to 10, semicolon to end my statement. Now, the next thing I need to do, I've got now my max numbers. Next thing I need to do is create some, uh, generate the random numbers. So I'm going to say int max pr, oops, max r is equals to r dot next and in brackets I'm just going to put a number I'm just going to put 2 comma uh, max r and then I'm going to say semicolon to end my statement I'll copy this line control C to copy control V to paste I'm going to change the r to the letter P I'll change the R to the letter P. Change the R to the letter P. 
here I'm just going to change the, this number to, let's say, 5. Because I don't want the two numbers to be the same when we actually refresh the page. Okay. The next thing we need to do is create another number, another integer, sorry, another variable. And this variable will be the number total, nom t. And the number total will be the number r plus, oops, plus the number p. Semicolon to add my statement. Okay. Here's what we need to do. We are going to display now, we're going to say LBL first number. So dot text is a text field. I want this number, uh, this label to be equals to number r dot to string open close bracket semicolon to my statement. Here, I'm supposed to put here number, sorry, nom r, nom p. Okay, let's remove that. I think there's a typo there. To string, open close bracket, then semicolon to end my statement. Now, the next thing I need to do is copy this line and paste it two more times. And the only thing I need to do, change this to the second number, and change this to total number. Then, I need to change that to a P, and this to a T. Now, let's find out what we've done. We created two random numbers. Random number R, random number P. We create some variables, so we said the in, this variable max r is the integer. It, it has the integer data type, and the maximum value we want is ten. Now we can change that to hundred, thousand, whatever you wish to change it. Then we create another variable, the max p. The max p number is ten again. Okay. Then we create another variable, and we call this new variable nom r, so the number r. So the number r is equals to r, and the next random number it's going to give us. And the same we did for nom p. We set is equals to p, plus the next random number it's going to give us. So therefore we'll have number, random numbers. Then we create the number total variable. But the number total variable is equals to this one plus this one, is adding up both. Then we display all the findings, so number r, we display it on our label first number. Number p, we display this on our second number label, LBL second number. And number total, t, display this on total number. Now. The next thing we need to do is create an if statement. So we need to double click on our button and we need to create an if statement. So we will say if, let's create the structure, if something is true, then let's open curly brackets, I want you to do something else, otherwise I want you to do something else. So in an if statement what we need to check is this text box which is txt answer txt answer so we're going to say if txt answer dot text is equals to lbl total number dot text if that's true, let's put on the equals there, doing with C sharp. So if txt answer dot text is equals equals to LBL total number dot text. So if this value is equals to this value, 
then I would like to display a message and the message will be within my message here which is LBL message and here's my message so I will say LBL message dot text is equals to well done the correct answer is and then I'm gonna put space colon I'm gonna put a plus icon and I'm gonna display the label LBL total dot text semicolon got my statement otherwise if the answer is incorrect I'm gonna copy this line based on the L statement I will say sorry or good try however your answer is incorrect and what we're going to do full stop please try again let's put a full stop here let's remove the answer okay let me summarize what we just did we created two random two random numbers then we set to for this random we created two variables these both variables will justify the maxima the max number that we would be able to use when we randomize the numbers and we put these two together here by creating a variable called nom r and nom p and we said nom r is equals to r so the random number here dot next we put a, a statement here so the two uh, will actually generate different number to the one below if we put the same numbers we're gonna have the same exactly the same numbers identical numbers so if we put here two and here two we're gonna have exactly the same numbers I'll show you in a second however we set the number plus the random number which is max r so the maximum number here we do the same here and then we actually add the both of them together and then we display the results into the labels by using this to string action then we create an if statement and we said if the text the text the answer is equals equals to label total then I want you to say well done and the correct answer is this otherwise could try however the answer is incorrect please try again let's try it let's press play if I click submit good try however the answer your answer is incorrect please try again so if I put here uh, let's put let's put yeah these numbers again we have the, the number here however if we delete that and put seven okay well done the correct answer is seven now what I've done here I have a label here called total so what I did on that on this label here I've changed the properties to invisible so visible so if I go to the properties change the visibility to false so if I by default is true so if we, we click run I can see the answer here obviously I don't want to display this to the end user so if I put here seven okay well done if I put something else 78 now when I actually click to run I keep having the number seven here which is not good this is why okay now we have eight let's run again okay it's working now the random numbers okay okay that's better right in in this case in the case that your numbers doesn't actually change if you go back here play around with these values here if I put on this value I put one and then I put one here 
and run it, I have 9 plus 9. And if I actually run again, I have 6 plus 6. So even though it's still randomized numbers, it's giving the same numbers. 4 plus 4. So that's why it is important for us to actually change the numbers here. So if we say 1 and 2, so plus plus 4, this I think is just coincidence, 3 plus 2, 7 plus 7, 9 plus 9, 4 plus 5. Now, if I change this to 5, 7 plus 8, 5 plus 7, 9 plus 9. Again, randomize the numbers. However, it's giving you different numbers. So don't put the same number that you've put there for the R to the P. Because what you have is two exactly identical numbers. Now, if that's what you want to achieve, that's fine. So this is how we create random numbers and display random numbers into labels. And we add in this to both numbers together to actually create a score and create an if statement to identify, to help us identify the correct answer from the wrong by using dynamic values instead of static values. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you learned something new today. Bye.